We're starting all the way down on our mats. We've got our small Pilates ball, and light weights are optional. So we're going to take that ball, and we're going to place it in the center of our back, and we're going to lay it back on that ball. I'm going to lift up my hips and place them back down to make sure I'm set up right. So right now, my abdominals are in flexion. Put your hands behind your head, elbows are out to the sides, and we're going to gently let our bodies drape over the ball, inhaling. And then exhale, close back up the ribs and fold. Pull inhale back. Let your head just rest in those fingertips. And then exhale, bring it back up. Let's just do two more. Now, if you are a person who suffers from vertigo, we don't want the head dropping too far back. So be careful with that. And one more. I'm going to inhale. And exhale. Now hold the flexion right here. We're going to tabletop one leg and place it back down. Other leg, we lift and lower back down. So it's same speed up, same speed down. So those abdominals should feel the work. And I lift it up and I tap it down. I lift it up and I tap it down. Now let's take one leg up and hold that there. Now I'm going to drape my head back over my ball, lower your toes to the mat, inhale, exhale, crunch back up. So I'm going to pick up my pace just a little bit, inhale back, exhale, it's two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four. You want to make sure that you're using your breath, pay attention to how the back feels, how the neck feels. We've got two more to go. Inhaling and exhaling. And last one. And I'll put that foot down and keep the head lifted. My other leg will lift up. Now repeat what we did before. I'm going to go over, tap my toes, and then crunch back up one. Inhale, exhale two. Don't get caught lifting that head up by those fingertips. We're lifting up from the core. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, strengthen. We've got four more to go. And three. And we just got two more to go. And here's two. Crunch it up. Here's one. Take that foot down. We'll do one more stretch over. And this time, I'm going to let my head rest on my mat and reach my arms out like a T. That's not cool for you, don't do it. Just enjoy the stretch, the opening of the chest, flexion in the back. Now carefully draw that chin to your chest, hands go back behind that head, nod the chin back up to your chest, grab behind those thighs, and help yourself up. Good. All right, we're gonna take that ball underneath our toes. And we're gonna lay back, so use the hands to support, and we'll lay all the way back. Now, if you have weights, they're optional. Put one in each hand. If you don't have weights, you're still doing the same arm movement that we are, okay? So I want you to think of footwork on a reformer. We're gonna take our legs to a frog position. So just my toes are on my ball, my heels are connected. My arms are straight up, palms face forward, my shoulders are bouncing. Inhale, reach the legs out. Exhale, draw them in. So the arms aren't in the Play yet. Inhale out. Exhale, return. Inhale. Exhale. Now, as you draw the knees back in, my arms are going to reach for my mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, breathe and scoot. Lift up as you press out. Same speed out, same speed in. And we draw in. Let's just do two more. We press it out. We pull it in, and one more. We press it out, and we pull it in. Now press it out and stay out there. I'm gonna carefully nod my chin to my chest, reach my arms long. Put that on the waist, keep the arms reaching. We're gonna start to pump the 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Breathe in the nose, and out the lips. That lower 
back should be nice and heavy on that mat. I am curling up and over my sternum, top of my sternum. I'm squeezing those armpit muscles. If you need to, you can bend those knees. If you need to, you can put your head down or halfway there. And inhale. And exhale. No strain to your neck. Inhale. And exhale. Just three more. You got this. Inhaling. And exhaling. And two. You're so close. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Grab up on those weights. Head down, arms out, draw the knees back in. This time, have the knees together. Feet are parallel, just the toes on the ball, heels are lifted. Turn those palms in. Press the legs out on an inhale. Draw the back in on an exhale. So I want you to feel your core pulling that ball back in. Now, as my legs press back out, I'm gonna do a chest fly, open to the sides, and then squeeze and come back. Inhale, to exhale. Moving from the core, keeping the pelvis still, keeping that back still. We're in neutral spine here. And we'll go four more. And three. And two. And one. I'm going to walk my ball a little closer towards me. Put my heels on top of that ball. I'm flexing so my toes are trying to touch my shins. Yep. All right. So I'm going to press that ball out. Keep the heels in flexion. Draw it back in. We'll inhale. We'll exhale. As you press out, bend the elbows. The weights go towards your shoulders. And press back up. It's an inhale. And an exhale. Lengthen. Scoop. Four more. And three. Give me two more. Looking good. One more. And now roll that ball back out. And let's go back to a Pilates V. Turn the palms to face the feet. And we're going to do a roll up. We're going to nod the chin to our chest. Reach towards those toes. Your lower back should be heavy on that mat. Slowly peel yourself. Good. Up and over. And then we come back, stay inside that canister. My chin is to my chest, eyes to the belly button. I'm wrapping my thighs, and I return back home. Chin to chest, inhale, find the lower back. Exhale, as you're going up and over, the belly's scooping back. And then return back home, watch those shoulders. Wrap your thighs, it supports the abdominals. <clears throat> Got two more to go. Chin to chest, find the lower back. Exhale, belly in, belly in, belly in, reach. Bring it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We got one more to go. <clears throat> no momentum. Momentum gets you nowhere. Eyes to belly. Inhale. Breathe, 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 breathe. Now stay here. Take the weights onto the mat. Grab onto your ankles. Now bend your knees and bring the ball with you. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Good. Now, reach those arms forward. Stay in your seat curve. Try to have your shoulders over your hips. Don't get way back like this. <clears throat> Try to be here. Now, I'm going to press those legs out again and draw them back in. And I'm going to inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Now, lengthen the arms all the way up. Spine goes tall. Circle the arms behind you. Press the heel of the hands into the mat. Get the toes pressed on that ball again. My knees are only as wide as my frame. So I'm going to roll that ball back out and then inhale. Exhale. Think of your chest going through a door frame. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Now hold it in. Now push through the heel of the hands more. Just my fingertips are left. I'm going to bring my arms around into a diagonal. Same thing. I push out and draw it in. And I inhale and I exhale. Two more. Inner thighs. Wrap. Exhale. Scoop. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Grab onto your ankles. And let's roll that ball back out. Lengthen the legs. 
Get a little stretch in the back of those legs. Uh, now, grab onto those weights again. Reach past those toes, arms are parallel. Keep the legs straight and let's roll back down. Tucking that tail, melting the spine. Shoulders are relaxed. And voila. Take the weights off to the side. <clears throat> Bring those knees back in. So walk that ball towards you. I'm going to grab that ball and place it behind my knees. So right now, my knees are really close towards my rib cage. So I'm trying to have my lower back nice and heavy, arms to your side. So I'm going to tap my toes down. My pelvis can't move. My lower back isn't going to move. And I draw those knees back up. So you've got to keep that bowling ball right on that torso. And don't let the back shift around. I'm going to inhale down. And I'm going to exhale up. My arms are real close to my side. My palms are flat. My chest should be nice and open. And my neck is nice and long. Inhale down. Exhale lift. Just give me two more. Same speed down. Same speed up. And one more. We bring it down. We lift it up. Now take the ball, place it underneath your left foot. My knee is still bent. I'm going to grab onto my right shin or ankle. I'm going to roll that ball out and bring this leg straight up. Bend everything back in. So I roll that ball back in. And I'm going to roll it back out. My leg goes up. My belly goes down. And bring it back in. I'm going to do two more. I lengthen. Bring it back in. This one, I'm gonna stay out. Good. Now draw that shin to your chest. Walk your hands up one more step. Keep the hands where they are. Put your head back down. Yeah. You got this, Al. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Come on. <laughs> All right, now <laughs> take your arms back down to your side. Turn that kneecap away. Now, if you'd rather, if you're way out here, how about let's soften the knee, but get it in line with our hip. Okay, so if we need to, put a soft bend that way. We're going to take a circle going counterclockwise. We're going to go towards the center, around, and up. Inhale to exhale. So you can make these circles smaller if need be. You don't have to go real big. And then give me one more. And now let's reverse it. We're going to go around. Now make sure those glutes are engaged in this, but don't be pointing those toes so hard that you put a cramp in your toes or your calf. Use your belly to move that leg. And one more. Bend that knee in and pull it towards you. Draw the ball back in. Switch the feet up. So now the ball's under my right toes. I'm going to grab onto my left ankle or shin. Press both legs to a straight leg position, and then bring it back in. One. Take your time. You'll lend in both legs. Bring it back in. Two more. Reach and come in. And we're going to stay out there on this one. Nod your chin to your chest carefully. Walk your hands up a little higher. Now keep your hands where they are, and place your head back. Breathe. Ah. Now try to keep your leg where it is. Place your arms down to your side. Remember, you put a soft bend that knee is going to be in your knee over your hip. I don't want you out here in a straight leg. I'm going to be closer and the knee soft. Okay. So we're going to circle clockwise. Round. Zip up one. Now remember, you can start with your circles teeny tiny. If that's what it's going to take to keep the ribcage heavy and that back heavy, make them smaller. Don't forget the breath. Inhale, exhale. Now let's reverse it. As I'm going away from my center, that opposite hip has to stay planted. Inhale to exhale. Round to come up. I lost count. Let's just do one more. That's okay. Bend that knee and pull it in. Good. Let's bring that ball in. And I'm going to place two feet on top of that ball. Now, if you're a person who usually cramps their hamstrings when they do a shoulder bridge, you may want to just put the ball on the floor and your feet can straddle the ball. Okay? 
going to be a little bit more challenging. So my thighs are together, my shins are together, my feet are on top of that ball. Arms are pressing down. Tuck your tail, lift in your seat first, and articulate that spine coming up. And as you're coming up, the shoulders and arms are pushing down. And let's articulate that spine coming back down. Let's try that again. Inhale, lift. The neck should be free to move. And then exhale, I'm going to slide my fingertips a little closer towards that ball as I'm coming down. And again, tuck, scoop, squeeze, lift, and breathe. There's a lot going on here. And then we come back down. Now this time, I'm just going to lift my spine in one unit. Lift up. Now you're ready for this one. I'm going to squeeze into my glutes and I'm going to straighten those legs. Three, two, one. Lower your seat back down and bend the knees back in. Now, if that wasn't good for you, you would just do your bridge. You wouldn't need to straighten those legs out. So we're gonna bridge back up. And we exhale, three, two, one. Lower down, and bring it back in. Now, let's try to reverse it. Press out, lift up your hips. Now, the hips are gonna have to go higher as I bring that ball in, and I come back down. Watch the hamstrings. I'm going to inhale to exhale. Come back down. Last one. Roll it out. Open the hips and chest. Bring it back in and lower it down. And now stretch those legs straight out. Reach those arms behind you. Yay. Circle the arms. Whoop. Watch your water bottles. Grab onto your waist. If you have them, and we're doing a roll up, chin to chest, and bring it up, 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 and lower. Okay, weights off to the side. And we're going to take that ball, we're going to place it between our knees, but first, scoot a little bit more towards the top edge of your mat. Okay? So the ball is going to go between the knees, and we're going to give it a little bit of a squeeze to start. So right away, my body's muscles are engaged. Hands behind the thighs. We're going to do like a little roll. So I'm going to take my chin to my chest, push my navel back, shoulders are melted. I want the arms to lengthen, just let your lower back touch the mat. Squeeze into the ball and come back up. And we're going to stay in this rounded position. So feel like your inside attracts your tire. And I'm going to come down around. Inhale down. I tuck my tail, press in the ball. Exhale. And again. Shoulders are melted, tuck your tail, lower back touches, bing, squeeze the ball, come back up. Now, if I make it harder, we'll tabletop our legs, but you don't have to make it harder. Keeping the shins parallel to the floor, we tuck that tail again, same thing, we're going to try and hold those shins still, and then squeeze the ball and come up. Uh-huh, and again, inhale down, exhale up. One more. Maybe you started with your feet up this time. Maybe you want to put them down. That's fine. Play with it. Good. Now I'm going to drop my feet. I'm going to wrap my hands around my outer thighs. Pull your heels closer towards you. Okay? If you really want a challenge, you can try to keep your nose attached to your ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I try. Okay, so rolling like a ball is not for everybody. So if you have any issues with your spine, you just hold it, okay? But you can balance, please. Okay, so when we rock back, the more control we have, the more we have success. So we rock back just to the base of our shoulder blade, and we balance. Good. So you don't have any thuds, because thuds don't feel good. Make sure that your eyes are on your belly the whole entire exercise. We use the breath. We inhale. I'm going to squeeze into my ball to exhale. Exhale. One more. Don't throw your head back. Never roll on your neck. And feet down. Lengthen those legs out. And let's roll our ball as far as we can go. Good. And then bring it back up. Okay, we're going to take that ball to the tippy tippy top of our shoulder blades. And we're going to sit back or lay back onto that ball. And I always like to lift my hips up and put them back down. Okay? If this is not a good position for you, feel free to make a pillow and put your head on it. 
or don't use your ball at all. I'm going to draw my knees in. So we're going to start on the abs series. So the ball being where it is helps me start that lift, right? That shin to my chest coming up and over the sternum. So we're going to take two hands on that right shin and tug that knee in. I'm going to take my outside hand, so the hand that matches the shin, and slide it down to the ankle. And now I'm going to bigger tug in. Press the opposite leg out to 45. If that's too much for your hip or your back, bring it up higher. Okay? Now I'm going to switch. Now my left hand, left shin, pull it. Switch. So the outside hand goes long, the inside hand is by the knee. So I'm going to get it moving now, and I'm going to use my breath. Inhale, to exhale, to inhale. Come on, pull it in as you press out. So I'm not stopping out here, I'm pulling it as I'm reaching it in opposition. Don't forget to inhale, set, and then exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Hug both knees in. Keep your left knee in. Keep your left hand on your shin. Right arm, right leg. Out, two, three. Sweep the arm, pull it in. Left arm, left leg. Out, two, three. Circle, hug. Hold, two, three. A big exhale. A big inhale, two, three, and a big exhale. Now, if you want harder, two arms, two legs, two, three, exhale, up. Rib cage doesn't change. Pull it in. I want those thighs wrapping, sitting bones wrapping, and one more. Inhale, two, three, two, exhale. Reach your right leg straight up, left leg straight out for single leg scissors. Pull. Pull, switch, pull, pull, and inhale, whoo, exhale. Inhale, exhale, switch, inhale, exhale. One more side, these aren't easy. And take your feet down, and your drape over my ball. Ah, something does feel good in Pilates. It all does, it all feels good. Draw that chin to your chest, hands behind your thighs, and sit up. Okay, so we're gonna put this ball under our pelvis and then continue on with our abs series. So it's in your hand. We're gonna lay down, bridge up. If you need to, lift your heels, but put that ball under your pelvis, not the arch in that lower back. Once you have that placed, bring your legs up to 90 degrees, and the heels are kissing, toes turned out, we're in a Pilates stance. So we're going to lower these legs for three counts. One, two, three, lift. So if you're going too low, you'll feel a strain in your back or your hips. So be very careful you don't go too low. Take an inhale down and exhale up. Lower, lower, lower. One, two, Three, notice what your glutes are doing as you lower down that third count. They're jumping, pinching together, they're supporting the abdominals. One, two, three, not add on to this. We're gonna come down for three and open around and bring it straight up to 90. We're gonna go down, two, three, open and around. In, out, to exhale. One more, lower, 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 circle around. Now to reverse it, open, connect, lift up, up, up. <laughs> Inhale, so how low are you circling down? You don't have to circle down that hardly at all. I can stay up here and come in, in, in. And one more, inhale and exhale. So my legs are straight up. Loose feet, loose feet. My right leg is going to slide down for two and then come up for two. And then the other leg, I'm going to reach it long like you're trying to slide a penny down that wall. I'm going to inhale, two, exhale. Now you can stay doing this or I'm going to change it to a bicycle. So my right leg will straighten down. I'm going to soften my knee. My toes will go along my mat. 
I sweep my foot to my ball and lift that leg back up. Now the left leg is gonna reach long, bend the knee, slide the foot along the mat to the ball and bring it up. Right leg, lengthen, bend that knee, pull in from the belly. Left leg, reach it long, bend the knee. Now let's try and do one right into the other. I'm gonna lower my right leg, as I'm bringing it in, the other leg is going out. So it's like a real exaggerated bicycle. Keep the core engaged. Feel the nice length of the leg out of the hip. Now let's freeze and do a backwards bicycle. I go out first, then up. Out first, then up. So I'm still feeling that nice lengthening of that leg away from that hip. Core is pulling in strong. And then both legs come straight up. I'm gonna bend my knees, give a little tug. I'm gonna grab onto that ball, lift my butt off the ball, and come back down. That wasn't so bad. Okay, no ball for this one. Hug those knees in, hands on your shins. Use this as leverage to curl the chin to your chest. So I'm pushing down on my shins to lift my head up. How high should I come? To the base of the shoulder blade. Take the hands behind your head, elbows stay open. Let's take our left shoulder towards that right thigh, press the left leg out. Now keep curled up so your shoulders aren't on the mat. Switch and hold. Can you keep those elbows in a straight line? Switch and breathe. Exhale. And 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 you want that knee coming straight in. And we switch. <clears throat> and we switch. Now let's do eight singles. Get those legs up a little higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. My hands are still behind my head. My elbows are wide. I'm going to sway my knees to one side of my mat. Try to keep your elbows heavy. Good. Now use your abdominals to pull those legs back up. And I'll sway my knees to the opposite side. I'm going to keep my elbows heavy. And I bring it back up. And I hug my knees in. And I'm going to rock myself up. And take my legs as wide as my mat. Okay, so I'm going to grab one that ball. I have the heel of my hands on that ball. I'm gently pressing air out of it. Now, if this is a struggle to sit up tall and you feel like those hips don't want to let you come up, soften those knees. Okay? Because I want your spine to be as tall as you can make it. All right, so my feet are flexed. My shoulders are connected to my back. Now I'm scooping that belly in and up. On an inhale, grow an inch taller. On the exhale, I start with my cervical spine. I start to peel off the wall. My arms are going across the imaginary table. I go to my middle back and I stop. So my lower back is still against that wall. Now gently pinch your sitting bones, pull your navel in a little deeper and stack your spine on an inhale. Exhale, repeat. Chin to chest, up into your belly button. See your belly button going deeper as those arms go more forward. <laughs> Inhale up, melt those shoulders. Exhale forward. Inhale. Exhale. Let's change this. Inhale. Stay here on the exhale. Now, even if you don't have a ball, pretend like you do. The right hand's going to grab my ball. It's going to swing behind me. Don't lean back. And bring it back around. Same circle. Inhale. To exhale. So what I don't want to happen is I'm going back, have my head poke out forward. Do one more. Grow taller, expand the chest, and now let's reverse that. Inhale. To exhale. Try to keep those arms as high as you can. So don't automatically just drop them. And one more, not that you are. Inhale and exhale. Lower the ball to the floor and just 
roll it out. Let your spine just completely come off that wall. I'm not worried about my lower back anymore. I just want to stretch forward. You need to bend the knees and see if you can get further out. Yeah, try bending your knees. Don't make it about the hamstrings. Make it about stretching your back. Yeah. And then stack your spine, bring that ball back up. Okay, so put the ball off to the side for a second. And let's grab back onto our weights. And if you don't have weights, you're going to do the same hand movement. All right, so we're going to do part of the rowing series. I love the rowing series. So our legs are long. Then I'm going to dump coffee with both hands into a cup. So my knuckles are together. My pinkies are on top. Then I'm going to draw these weights to the top of my sternum. I'm going to inhale, do nothing. On the exhale, see her back. The lower back will not touch the floor. Open up the arms as you inhale. My fingers are reaching long. My thumbs go down. My knuckles go back, and they touch the mat. My head is as heavy as I can get it. I lift those arms up, scoop that belly stronger. Exhale, belly button goes away from those arms. Pour the coffee. Stack up your spine. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, wrap those thighs to support. Right there. Open up. Thumbs point down, knuckles go behind you on the mat. Lift up the arms, circle, knuckle to knuckle, stack your spine, inhale. Exhale, C curve. Open those fingers long, thumbs go down, knuckles go behind you. We lift up, you better be using that core. We bring it around, and then just stack your spine with those arms reaching out in front of you. Now nice and tall, shoulders connected to your back. Right arm's gonna come up, and then we lower. Left arm, up, and down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more, up, and down. I'm trying to keep my spine as tall as I started. Don't give up, and up, and down, and up. And down and weights go by. Take those legs back out to wide your mouth. All right, arms out at T. We're gonna twist to our right. Inhale. On the exhale, my left pinky saws off that baby toe. I'm looking at my back hand, and this butt cheek that I'm twisting away from is heavy. Use your core. Inhale back up. Rotate. Exhale. Scoop. Look at your back hand. Up from the belly, tall, 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 and reach and scoop. Inhale up, exhale, that was our last one. I'm going to inhale up here, and exhale, release. Okay, grab onto your ball, and let's come onto our stomachs. First one. All right, so we're reaching those arms nice and long. Belly button's pulling in. My legs are sitting bum width apart. Now, shoulder issues, you don't have to have your arms out. You can just put your hands here. Okay. All right. So, first things first. Do not lift your head and chest yet, but give the ball a little bit of a roll towards the crown of your head. Feel your shoulders getting heavier to that rib cage. Now, keeping your arms straight, I'm going to start to peel off that mat, and that ball is coming closer towards me. I keep my neck in line with my spine, and I come back down. So when you come up, try to gently pinch your sitting bones together. So I roll the ball towards me first, I lift up, I inhale, and I exhale. Shoulders go back, they keep going back as I'm coming up, it's always opposition. Exhale down. Let's do one more. So inhale up. And then we'll exhale down. Release your ball, hands to your mat, and stretch back into a child's pose, nice and slow, not moving too fast. And we sit back. While we're here, feel like the rib cage is an accordion. So on the inhale, we're going to open up the rib cage. Exhale, close it back up. Feel that in the middle of your back. We're going to inhale. Everything's expanding. And exhale. Let's just do one more. We'll inhale. And exhale. 
All right, come into a hands and knees position. Grab your ball. And let's place that ball behind our right knee. So beginners, we're going to keep the opposite leg on the mat. We're going to squeeze in those armpits, arms of steel. Shoulders should be in line with the elbows and wrists. Now, beginner, keeping that left leg on the mat, we're going to reach that right leg up and then down. The pelvis is not going to go with me. My hips don't go with me. So how can I make this harder? I'm going to extend my left leg back. I'm going to put myself into a plank, and I'll lift that leg up and down. Remember, you don't have to be in this position. You can keep that foot or knee on the mat. Inhale, exhale. We'll go four and three. Good. And two. And one, let's put that knee down first. And then the other knee. Put the ball in front of us. Let's stretch back into a child's pose. If your toes don't like to be flat, they can curl. And I take my arms behind me and make cups with my hands to release my wrists. Okay, let's come back up. And let's put that ball behind the left leg. So again, you can keep the right knee on the mat, right? And just lift it lower here. We don't want the hips to go with us or the pelvis, so maybe it's a lower lift. Next level, that knee will come down for a second. I'm going to straighten my other leg back. I lift up, and we'll go eight more from here. I inhale, exhale, six. Keep that belly in strong. Crown the head is reaching long like a flashlight in front of you. You got it. And three, good. And two, and one. We'll lower that knee down. The other knee, get rid of the ball. We'll do one more child's pose. My palms are going to face the ceiling, and I have to curl my fingertips to my wrist. So we already did some bridges in class, so I'm not going to repeat that, but we will do spine twist. So I'm going to keep my ball on that end of my mat. Now all I'm going to do is lengthen my legs and press into the sides of the ball. So I'm flexing my feet. My legs are long. Remember, it's more important to sit up tall than have your legs straight. So if I have my legs straight, but I'm like this, that's not doing me any good. You can bend, you can even take the legs out, you can sit and crisscross, but just be able to sit tall. All right, so we take our arms out like a T. Chest is open, shoulders rest on top of that rib cage. Your sitting bones should feel lifted, like you're sitting on thumbtacks. Pieces say you have to feel that way. <laughs> We're going to inhale up. We're going to twist over the right. One, a little further for two. Inhale, center to the left. One, further, two. So we're bringing water out of that rib cage. At the same time, we're going tall. Shh, shh. Pressing that ball a little more at the side of the feet. Boom, boom. And one more. Inhale, exhale. Boom, boom. And release. Okay, let's go into our side series. We're going to come on to our one side. We're going to keep the ball with us. We're going to place it at the very bottom of the rib cage. You can center yourself on your mat. That's fine. You don't have to go against the very back. All right. So one weight should be in front of you. I don't care about the other one. So my shoulder, my elbow are in a straight line. The purpose of the ball is not to let us get lazy on it. It's almost like you feel like you're trying to stay off of it. All right. So I'm going to extend my top leg straight. My hips are stacked. My gaze is straight ahead. I'm going to take this leg, it's straight, and I'm going to lift it hip height, and then lower it. So I want you to feel everything along the outside of this leg, the obliques, is working, the glutes, your kneecap and your toes should be facing straight ahead. Don't go too fast. And again, there's opposition. So my bottom knee pushes down as my top leg raises, and we'll do one more. Now if you have a weight, grab it. If not, you're going to do the same thing with your arms. Hold it out in front of you. Chest height. Swing the leg forward. Arm goes back. Arm goes forward. Leg goes back. So keep the pelvis still. Try to keep that leg hip height. I like to flex my toes forward. 
and point them back. Real straight leg, real straight leg. Try to get a little higher so it's as high as the hip. Ah, works a little harder than the hip. Yeah, I, I got you. And then let's bring it back in. Let's bring it back in. All right, so my knee to the top edge of my mat. My elbow and upper arm are glued to my rib cage. I'm going to do a clamp with the rotator cuff. What are we doing on that ball? Stay light on that ball. Push off that bottom arm. I don't want to see your whole body lifting when that knee is going up. Does so everything else stay still? Four. And three. And two. And one. Ditch the weight. Now the forearm arm is going to reach out in front of you. And that top leg is going to go straight. I'm going over my ball. Over your ball. You know where we're going. Elbow <laughs> to the sky. Now you're going to use your anchors. This arm and this leg. Side sit-ups. We're going to come up and then over. Now I never said how high you have to come up. So just even just engaging that here. Now try to breathe. Exhale. Everything scoops in. I'm squeezing my upper rib cage towards my hip. I exhale. Inhale. You're going to love the stretch here. <laughs> it almost feels like a mermaid. Right? And we go three. Stretch over. And two. Now we're going to hold this one up. Reach for those toes. Now pulse it. Now push off that arm. Don't make it miserable. Help. Five. Squeeze everything here. Three. Oh, two. One. Now stretch that arm over. Okay. <laughs> and then take that hand to the floor to lift us up. Ah. And we'll switch sides. Okay. That wasn't so bad. You should feel pretty nice and open and work on that side. Now let's create that same feeling on this side. You only have 16 minutes left. We can do this. Okay, so I start my knees towards the top edge of my mat. I'm on my forearm, and my shoulder and my elbow in a straight line. I'm going to press, oop, easy way, it's too far away. Okay, so I'm going to straighten that top leg. The hips are stacked. You can't have this hip roll back. Everything should face in front of you. All right, so we start with the up and down. So the neck is long, pull that rib cage in, squeeze the armpit in, and here we go. Lift. And lower. Now I'm not just lifting, I'm also lengthening. Yeah. Push the bottom leg down as you lift this top leg up. If this is bothering your neck to look straight ahead, then you just go down towards the elbow. And we go four. Good. Are you using that glute? Squeeze it. Pull the belly in. And two. One more. Hold it up. Grab onto that weight. Arm is out in front of you. Chest height. Flex the foot forward. Arm goes back. Point. Nothing else moves. That torso just stay still. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Try to have that leg high as the hip. Two more each direction. And one. And bring the knee in and the elbow in. Okay, clam rotator cuff. Leg open, leg close. And again, I'm not telling you how high to open this leg. So if it's moving your whole body, it's too high. Push the bottom leg down, look straight ahead. Neck is always in line with your spine. <clears throat> and we go four and three. Don't collapse on that ball. And two, one more. And one. Get rid of the weight. Okay, now the bottom arm reaches towards me. Top leg reaches away. Free hand goes behind that head. I've got anchors here. We're going to squeeze the butt. Squeeze your right hand in the pocket. And stretch it. Exhale. In. Same speed up. Same speed down. You've heard that many times today. Exhale. Inhale. Enjoy that stretch because you have to stretch before you can strengthen. Breathe. Exhale the air out. You got two more to go. Lift and squeeze. Now hold this one up. 
Reach the arm for your toes. Let me pulse it. Eight, seven, six. We're not letting this go. Four, three, two, one. And give me a nice big stretch. And you feel like you're reaching that top leg even longer. Gorgeous. Take the hand to the mat to lift yourself up. Okay. And swing those feet back around. All right, so grab one weight in each hand. And we're going to take that ball between the thighs. And always have pressure on the ball. Okay? So my feet can't be too close. Walk them up <clears throat> a little bit. <clears throat> Lengthen those arms. Shoulders down. Bring it back. Inhale. Nod the chin to your chest. Find that lower back. Exhale. No momentum. Bring it back. So if you know if you lay all the way back, you're not coming back up, don't go all the way down. And you've got to be able to feel that lower back touch that mat when you're coming up. Now we're going to hold this one up. My abdominals are still engaged. My right arm is going to twist back and follow it. Bring it up. Then the left. Inhale. Exhale. Roll back down. Four. Three, two, one. Nod the chin to your chest. No momentum. Nice and easy. From here, I inhale, twist to the right. Exhale. <clears throat> inhale. Now hold it. I'm going to add on. I'm going to kick my right leg out. Bring it back in. <laughs> Left leg. And now I roll back down. Four, three, two, one. And repeat. Rise the belly. Lift it up. And we'll twist right. Twist left. Kick right. Kick left. And lower down. Four, three, two, and one. Draw the knees towards you and rest the weight on those shins. And it's going to be tough. That wasn't so bad. Your neck feel strain, you want to shake that head, no, side to side. Good. Your that lower back feels a nice stretch, and then we'll rock ourselves up. Okay. Swimming. So we're going to go back in that swan position on our stomachs, and the ball is going to reach out again in front of us. And one hand will be pressing in as the other hand is doing something else. So my arms are long, the heel of my hands are on my ball. My legs, again, are sitting bone width apart, and my belly button is pulling away from that mat, creating a house for a mouse. All right, so I'm gonna push into the ball with my left hand, my right hand is gonna come up, and my left leg is gonna come up, and I'm gonna lift my head and chest, and then come back down. Now my right hand is gonna press in, my right leg is gonna lift, my left arm is going to lift, and I come back down. So it's small. And again, inhale, exhale. If you have not use the ball, that's fine too. Bring it back down. And I lift, inhale, to exhale, inhale. Now, grab the ball with two hands. Lift up your arms, head, chest, legs, and feet. Bam. Now, keep the ball tight and just have the legs swim like a scuba diver. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three. One more set. And inhale and exhale. Release. Stretch back. Scoop the belly. Round the back. Nicely done. Okay. Let's take that ball between the ankles. You're almost there. We're almost at the home stretch. Okay. Yep. All right. So I'm going to walk my hands further out. I can see my toenails. My ball is tight between my ankles. I'm going to push into a plank. Here I am. Now I'm in a Pilates turnout. So my heels are turned in and my toes are turned out. Now I'm going to take my right toes. Slide that ball up toward my knee, put it back down. Then the left. 
Slide, I'm gonna lose my ball. Slide it. <laughs> and then bring it back in. And right leg, slide a little bit. Bring it back out. And then the left, slide it. Bring it back out. Hold it here, keep that ball tight for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, your knees. And stretch back. And reach those arms behind you and make the cuffs with those hands. Wow. That was a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't that smooth. I didn't have my ball in the right part of my leg, but that's okay. All right, so come to a high kneel and grab that ball. All right, so I'm gonna turn this way so I have more mat. This is a fun one. Mm -hmm. All right, so take one leg out to the side. Yeah, I can't have the back of your body kind of pushing out. So feel like the reverse is happening. Feel like everything is pushing forward, okay? So for you, is that bothering your hip? So why don't you come here? Why don't you come here? And you're still gonna do a side bend, and you can still do some of the arm stuff, you won't go as far. Okay? Alright, so here we are. So we're gonna do a side stretch to the straight leg first. Inhale. Exhale. Now on this one, we're gonna inhale, and then we're gonna settle in on this diagonal on the exhale. Now the bottom hand's gonna grab the ball, and here I am, and I'm just gonna bring that ball to the floor. So I'm side bending until the ball is on the floor. Bend your elbows and put the ball in the other hand. Now the fingertips, we're going to touch the mat, hold it, bend the elbows, tap the ball. Switch the hands, reach for the floor, pause, switch the hands, the ball touches the mat. Hold yourself there. And bring it all the way off. Woo! Did you feel that one? <laughs> Let's try the other side. Okay. I started doing that one this past summer. I found it somewhere and I really liked it. Alright, so everything's pushing forward. So right now I'm doing that. I feel my glutes engaged, my hamstrings engaged. Is this bit better for you? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna stretch. Center. Now here, I'm going to inhale into that diagonal. On the exhale, let the arms go out like a T. My ball should easily touch that mat. So I stay in this side bend, bend the elbows. So my fingertips don't touch, so I'm going to touch, squeeze, bend, yep, hold, switch the hand, fingertips dangle. Back stretch, oblique, switch, ball touches, ball lifts, fingertips, and then bring it back up, Woo! and bring it back in. How'd that go? All right, so let's go into mermaid. So let's go on to our one hip. I'm going to keep that right for the people facing this way, so it just smash me. No ball needed. Now, ideal positioning for a mermaid are my knees to be stacked, right? And I hook onto my shin and I lift up. But for some of us, we may be too tight to do that. So if you're here and you're all bunched into a little ball, separate the leg as much as you need to to bring yourself up, okay? Like maybe you want to sit like this, or maybe just take a side stretch, you want to take your legs into a diagonal, okay? So you're going to pick whatever works for your hips and your knees. Okay? All right, yeah. So if I were you, I would come here. Because when you sit here, you kind of almost do that. So see if your knees will just slightly. Just connect your heels and let your knees slightly come out. You can straighten them more. Yeah, but I want you to stay lifted. Yes. Okay. All right. So here we go. Arm up. We're going to stretch over. And then we're going to take our forearm down. Try to keep your butt cheeks against the heels. Stretch. Use your obliques to come back up. Hook on. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now stay here on the exhale. Wrap the hand around the head. And I'm going to turn my torso towards the other arm. 
And then retrace your steps. Bring it on up. Take the hands behind you. You stay there. And we're going to switch sides. There I am, stack again. Grab onto that top shin. Always a race for time. All right, so I'm going to stretch over. If you want out, put the ball under your right hand. Slide it out as you're stretching. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Come back up and switch the hands. Or stay on that side. Just play with it. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine. Uh, and come on. back up. <laughs> and hook on. Inhale over. Exhale, and this one we stay here, we're going to inhale, and on the exhale, drop the arm around, turn your head, turn that torso towards the other arm, retrace your steps, and bring it up. Good. All right, so all our props are off our mat, let's go into a tabletop positioning. You've got two minutes left. If you made it this far, let's go, you can't quit now. That's right. Eyes on you guys. All right, so I'm going to curl my toes under, and I'm going to press back into a down dog. All right, so if we're real tight, and our heels are way up like this, walk your hands one step closer, see if that gets your heels a little heavier. Now I'm going to bend my knees and lift my heels, I'm going to crouch down, and as I straighten my legs, my heels push down deeper. I inhale as I bend my knees, I exhale, press. Inhale, exhale. Now, lift your heels, and I'm going to go back into my Pilates stance. Push the heels down, and walk the hands to your feet. Three, two, one. I want you to pull that navel in deeper, and just dangle those arms. Head is heavy, but that core has got to be working. And then I'm going to let my arms just circle inward. If you like, let's just hang in there. And I'll reverse the circle. Belly still pulled in like crazy. I'm going to start to slowly pull myself up. My tail is sliding down towards my heels. Up. I'm going to do a nice big inhale up. On the exhale, I'm going to peel off the imaginary wall. One vertebrae at a time. Head is heavy. Core is engaged. And then slowly bring it back up. Let the arms stay dangling as you come up for four, and three, and two, and one. You made it. All right, team. Good job. Are they still there? Oh, they are. <laughs>